ओम तत्णेशा विमे वक्रतुंदय धीमह तन्नो दी प्रचोदयात ओम तत्म पर्याय विमे ज्ञानलिंगेशरा धीमह तन्नो गुरु प्रचोदयात ओम ओम योग महर्षि दुस्व स्वामी गीतानंद गिरी गुरु महाराज के जय योगेन योगे पदेन वाचम मल शरीर से वैद्यक योपाकोत प्रबर मुनीन पतंजलि प्राजलिर्हानी ओ अथ साधन पद क्लिशमूल कामाशय दृष्टा दृष्ट जन्म With this affliction as the root, karmic bondage manifests through perceived and unperceived experiences of the present and future incarnations. Karma and its inevitable fructification surface in a clear manner in the sutra. Maharishi Patanjali describes karmic bondages resulting from the action reaction spiral. This karmic trap is a vicious deadly spiral, not just a simple merry-go-round. The science of yantra explains this karmic spiral as always moving forward and never backwards. The difference in layers and intensity of consciousness makes the process faster or slower. But each evolutionary cycle will always be a step higher than the preceding one. The injunction "be careful" implies that one must be full of care. Inaction also produces a reaction, and the result of inaction is worse than that of action. Better to go on the wrong path than to stand on the corner indecisively. Lord Krishna motivates Arjuna into action in the Bhagavad Gita for this very reason as the great warrior sits in dejection on the ground Arjuna was in a state of tamasika inaction Lord Krishna gently pushes him into a state of rajasika action and from there into the satvika state Kleshamula refers both to the point of origin from which the klesha arises and also to that karma shaya the accumulation of karma for which they are the root cause the accumulated karma may manifest in our present experiences or may occur at some other time in the future both the manifest drishta and unmanifest adrishta fruits of past actions are due to the klesha Sabija karma manifests through genetics through the parents we choose the family we choose the place of time and birth that we choose we are drawn as if by a magnetic pull towards the context family country or region that gives the best opportunity to manifest our karma and thus burn it up We are drawn to the life experiences that are most conducive for us to experience our karma. Having a human birth is an occasion to burn up karma, and this is why the earth is called karma bhumi. We can burn up our karma only by incarnating on this plane of existence. Even the gods and demigods had to incarnate on this human plane in order to work out their karma. This is vividly narrated in so many stories of the mythological history and historical mythology of Hinduism. There is no other place where you can work your karma out except here on earth, and there is no other time but the now. Generally people avoid the burning of karma, feeling it to be too hot and thus accumulate more and more karma. Why does it happen? This is because of avidya, the state of ignorance of who we really are and what we are really here for. The mistaken idea is that one is here only to enjoy, to seek pleasure and avoid pain is the trap most get caught in. 
Puja Swamiji said, if you do not learn your lessons in this lifetime, you will have to learn them again by coming back once more. He gave a glimmer of hope by saying, one day we are all going to get out of the cycle. We will all achieve Kaivalya someday. The speed with which we escape this vicious cycle is dependent upon consciousness and how we live our lives. From another viewpoint, we can say that every second is like a lifetime and that through consciousness, we can burn up the karma of a lifetime every second. Om Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Sarve Janaha Sukhino Bhavantu Om Shantihi 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 Om